It's me again, uh, Peter Okebukola, and I'm glad to welcome you to the first lesson in our quality assurance in higher education made easy series. This first lesson is on basic concepts in quality assurance. You know, by part of the world, we have this momo. We said that if you want to eat momo, you start from you know, the bits and pieces at the edges. So for this series, we're going to start from the basic concepts. And uh, we promise you a very delicious meal throughout the series. So let's begin with the basic concepts. Oh, yes, uh, we begin with uh, basic concepts. Today is May the 30th, 2021. And uh, what will be our learning outcomes? When we complete this lesson, uh, you should be able to define quality and the rest of them here. You should be able to analyze the definitions. You should be able to state the different components of quality assurance in higher education and describe major challenges to quality assurance in higher education in Africa. We have five basic concepts we're going to learn in this lesson. Quality assurance, quality assurance, quality control, components of quality assurance let's begin with the first one the concept of quality quality is beauty in the eye of the beholder uh, look at this gentleman on the left you know with good set of teeth very wonderful set of teeth i can you can see even the one on the right uh, you see some people will uh, like this set of teeth and others will not uh, the person on the right here, you can see his beer, beer, beer. Uh, you can see wonderful, well trimmed. Some may not like it. So, is quality something like beauty that's in the eye of the beholder? You can see this uh, wonderful couple. Uh, the lady is very short. Oh, sorry, very, very tall. And the gentleman here is, uh, well, uh, trying to get a ladder up. And you can see. So, concept of quality is beauty in the eye of the beholder when you say something is quality is it really is it something that is uh, person specific look at these flowers which is the most beautiful some will say this some will say this and some will say the other one now there's some fundamental thing what is good is good so you can't say this is good quality of power quality. what is good is good and what is bad is bad now at this job interview this gentleman here with bsc computer science and is being asked what's a mouse by the way this is true story in 2002 i took a set of applications for establishment of private universities to the fair Air council the highest you know and uh, in the land in nigeria and the minister asked me, look, what kind of, they don't want to approve new universities for us. Because those ones that were producing, uh, the graduates that were, that were producing, are not competent. And that minister gave this as an example, that it was part of an interview, they were asking this person with a BSc degree in computer science, what is a mouse? And this is what the minister said, that this gentleman said, a mouse is another name for a rat oh so what is good is good what is bad is bad now let's look at uh, some definitions of quality you are not going to see or you have side sharing it but you are not going to see a definition from outside africa you know why uh, we had the world conference on higher education uh, some years back and some ministers uh, from europe asked me look peter don't you have people who are wise in Africa? And I said, of course, we have them are plenty. And they told me that Africans, students, vice chancellors, rectors, all of this, when they want to quote, they don't quote Africans. They say, according to John F. Kennedy, according to Barack Obama, according to Winston Churchill. So they were quite confused. It means we don't have people that they can quote in Africa. And I said, we have them are plenty. And they said, I should quote some. And I did. They said, Mandela. Lucia Gombasonjo, Kwame Nkrumah, and all of that. 
So in the next set of definitions you will see, you will find that they are from brilliant minds, experts from Africa. You can see Professor Dr. Bashir Muhammad uh, from Maru Musa Adria University. You can see all of them here. Uh, Professor Chiki Anibese said, quality for him standardized minimum to which an outcome could be judged as productive. Professor Nu Gado, Bingham University, conforming to and exceeding desired expectations. I asked all of these people, all of these directors of academic planning or quality assurance, not to look at any literature, just from their, for, just spontaneously from their minds should tell me what quality, what quality is. And so this is what he said, straight from the heart. Dr. Nasiru Yakubo, what is a desired standard relating to excellence? And you can see uh, Dr. Alicia Gumbese from Atlantic University and the rest of them. Still more, see them. Dr. Abubakar Yakubo, KB State University of Science and Technology at Lero, accepted, acceptable standard of perfection. Professor Nebat Tanglang, National Open University of Nigeria, how good, fit, and effective a program is. Dr. Kabiru, Garba Muhammad, Usman Danfodi University, Sokoto, the status something is expected to attain. Please look at the rest of them. Oh, Dr. Ruka, uh, Rukayatu Gurin, who was a uh, staff in uh, the National Universities Commission while I was there. She's now based in the University of Abuja. Valuable and acceptable standards that meet requirements and specifications. Professor Johnson Fatokun, Ankor University, Lagos, Deputy Vice acceptable standards for global best practices. See more definitions from bright minds, experts in Africa. You can see I've not quoted anybody outside Africa. Dr. Grace Lutayo, an acceptable standard which is set by an organization, so institution to promote productivity and good outputs. Professor Yekini Olawaye Lawa, Afeba Valala University, quality is consistent compliance with set standards. Let's take a couple more. Professor Bolos Giang, Plateau State University. Quality is the inherent property of an object, being or system that enables it to be adjudged as being better or more excellent in comparison to a similar one in regard to its functioning and suitability for use. Oh, I take a moment here, Mrs. Uh, Moro Keji Olarewaju. Lagos State University, a perceived standard of excellence on a particular output very much sir for the definitions on quality i am fredawa from ghana can you please give us the definition of quality from your own perspective oh yes thank you dr fredawa from ghana you're asking for my definition of quality here it is i take quality to be an attribute which distinguishes a product or service from others and assessed against some minimum standards. With my definition and with definitions of others, you will see that there are some defining attributes of the different definitions. Some definitions are non-referenced, like my own, comparing quality of a product with others. Non-referencing means you, are, you have a group of universities or a group of graduates and you are comparing one with another. You are not comparing that one with a minim some minimum standards, like, which is called the criteria. So a non-reference definition is what I've provided. By the way, I've also provided a criterion reference definition, which is comparing quality against a set of criteria. Let me just expatiate on these two. You have a university, like I visited some universities in the southeastern part of Nigeria, and I got to the university and I said, oh, my goodness, what, what, what kind of shabby gate have you got? What kind of poor quality buildings have you got? I was comparing the university's uh, gate and the, uh, the facilities there with some others. So I've normed, norming means comparing with the normal, with the others. But if I were to have a criteria referenced assessment, what I will do is I have some criteria, minimum standards from, from which I will measure or assess the attributes of that university. So you also have product-based definition. 
that's the basis for quality is the attributes of the product you see the product say, oh fine this is this is a good graduate or user-based definition quality is a means of customer satisfaction we are happy with the quality of graduates from Covenant University, Lagos State University, also by or whatever other universities were happy with it. That's a quality a definition that's user-based. Value-based definition, quality as value for money. So these are the uh, classifying uh, attributes for the different definitions that we have seen for quality. Now let's go on to the second basic concept which is assurance. Now, assurance is the act of giving confidence. Or I'm assuring that this is going to happen. Or the state of being certain about an event or phenomenon. You're assuring that this is going to happen. Now, that takes us to the third of our basic concepts. That's quality. We've done taken quality. We've taken assurance. That's quality assurance. Now, we have several of our experts also offering their definitions of quality assurance dr bashir muhammad telling us that for him quality assurance is defined as the art of placing the right peg in the right hole professor garba saidu nigerian defense academy say level of enforcement quality assurance is the level of enforcement and compliance with lay down rules and regulations governing the conduct of any organization you can see Professor Chika and Ibeze, Professor Nu, uh, Gado, being on mechanisms and procedures set in place to ensure expectations are met and exceeded. Dr. Nasiru Yakubu of American University of Nigeria, quality assurance is the maintenance of a desired standard to ensure the delivery of a quality service or process. Dr. Ushogun Vincent, Dr. Abubaka Yakubu, you can see all of them, Professor Tanglan. And then you have uh, the others here giving you this definition. Uh, that of Do Dr. Rukayal Gorin is so heavy here. Well, let's take the Professor Timitoko Oyedepo at the Lake University in there. Quality assurance he has defined as processes put in place to ensure quality in services or products is achieved and maintained. Uh, you can see some others here. Professor Johnson Fatou Anko University, the planning, strategizing, implementation and enforcement of acceptable standards of global world best practices for effective delivery of academic services at every level of educational system. You can see some others here which you find time to read. By the way, we're going to have a quiz or test at the end of this week and you must also look at all these definitions. We want you to quote, quote, in you know, homegrown definitions rather right, than quote from every, everywhere else outside Africa. Of course, there are brilliant, brilliant definitions from outside Africa. But let's quote our own people. Good evening, sir. Mm. I want to thank you for the definitions that you have shared from various experts on quality assurance. Can you give us a definition of quality assurance from your own perspective, sir? Ah, thank you very much, uh, Cecilia Atabong. You are asking for my own definition of quality assurance in education. Uh, I gave a definition a little while ago, and I've not changed my mind uh, since uh, 20, 2004 when I gave this definition at uh, a global conference of quality assurance. And I took quality assurance in education, as I said, I've not changed my mind, to be a set of planned, you have to Plan and systematic activities. Plan and systematic. These are very important operative words implemented to maximize the probability that minimum standards of quality in education are attained. I repeat, my definition is you can say it, a set of planned and systematic activities so that any quality assurance thing you undertake it must be planned. And it has to be systematic and the goal will be for it to maximize the prob probability that minimum standards are attained we go on to basic concept number four we are moving and what's basic concept number four that one is quality control so what is quality control quality control is a process of testing that the final product means specifications 
and it's carried out at the end of the production line. Now let's take the uh, a factory, a factory manufacturing tomato puree or Coca Cola. So the quality control is at the end, at the point that the bottle is coming out, the puree is coming out. You are now checking whether there are defects, and if they are, you throw away those elements that are uh, the products that are having some defects, and that's it. So quality control is usually carried out towards the end of the production line. Let's take the higher education system. Let's take the university. So the students come in at uh, the hundred level. That's fresh person, fresh man or woman. And then you are not doing anything and you are just checking at the end that, oh, yes, you have made the minimum standards at that, and all that. But in contrast, quality assurance is applied all through the production line from entry to exit. The example I've given here in higher education, quality assurance is applied from admission when you have missed the student through the different academic levels, 100 level, 200 level, 300 level, and so on, to when the student graduates. So let's look at the, let's compare quality assurance and quality control. The focus in quality assurance is preventing defects with a focus on the process used to make the product. It's a proactive process, whereas quality control is a reactive process. It aims to identify and correct defects in the finished product. Now, the goal of quality assurance is to improve development and test processes so that defects do not arise when the product is being developed. Mm. In contrast, the goal of quality control is to identify defects after, look at it, after a product is developed and before it is released. Responsibility for quality assurance, everybody here, but for quality control is for a specific team of quality controllers. So let's look at this, this focus on the prevention of defects. Please, please note this. This course is on quality assurance in higher education. And the basic concept of quality control will come. Quality control is at the end. Quality assurance is all the way through the production line which is the, uh, of, of the higher education graduate. So focus on the prevention. This is focus on the identification of defects. Quality assurance is proactive. Quality control is reactive. Quality assurance is process-based. Quality control is product-based. This is this manages quality and this verifies uh, the quality. Now, there are two quality assurance principles you will be encountering throughout your training and throughout your operations of quality assurance in your university or by education institution. Fit for, for, for purpose. The product should be suitable for the intended purpose and right first time. Mistakes should be eliminated. Let's take on the last basic concept, and that is the components of quality assurance. That's the last basic concept. Number five for lesson number one. So quality assurance, listen to it, is made up of several elements. Accreditation, you can say I put in an umbrella. I actually uh, came up with this uh, figure in 2011 at one of uh, another international conference, a global international conference on quality assurance in higher education. So quality assurance is an umbrella concept for accreditation, or rather the elements include accreditation is a component of quality assurance. So when you say accreditation, accreditation is not synonymous to quality assurance. Accreditation is just a subset. It's a member of the quality assurance family. These are the members of the quality assurance family. External examiner system is part of quality assurance. When you ask uh, an external examiner to come and examine a thesis or moderate your questions in your university, is part of quality assurance. Students assessing their lecturers, or those of lecturers are resisting this, but they are hitting the head against the stone. They have to be assessed. It's part of quality assurance. Visitation, so external audit. Uh, as I speak, the federal government of Nigeria has uh, set up visitation panels to all the higher education institutions in Nigeria, universities, polytechnics, and colleges of education. It's all part of quality assurance. Entrance examination for students. The, in Nigeria, we have the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAM, which conducts the Unified Tertiary Matriculation 
examination utme that's all part of quality assurance you don't want war war <laughs> let me use that uh, language uh, input from the secondary level to come in there to come into our universities so when we're interviewing staff for appointment it's also part of quality assurance you know they apply we say okay fine now let's interview you we want to save the wheel from the chaff and uh, so it's part of quality assurance and the promotion where you feel you have performed you submit your cvs and you are assessed for professorship or lower that's part of quality assurance the external assessment of publications part of quality assurance so you can see our basic concept number five is very important about the elements of quality assurance and as we said accreditation and examination system and several others we're going to be asking from our Ghanaian participants what other elements they have in the Ghanaian tertiary education system and also from Burundi so the message ladies and gentlemen is that quality assurance is not accreditation not only accreditation it's made up of several other important members of the quality assurance family now let's have an activity before we end like we said this is a practical track this track is practical you know you have the conceptual track uh professor Ali will be telling you also about nuc and the laws uh, professor goski alabi will be sharing, uh, sharing with us uh about total quality management and but this one is practical practical so i will ask you to list some of the key challenges to quality assurance in higher education in Africa. Are you listening there? Let me share with you my own list, which Shabani and Okebukola came up with in 2014. They are uh, actually top 10, not top, top seven. So we'll modify this one to be 10 later. Look at them. Depreciating, depreciating quality of higher education teachers. The quality of teachers is depressing, is lowering. And this is not conjectural. Uh, Paul Shabani carried out this survey in 2013 and uh, added up bit of, uh, bits of it. You had seven, I had, I've added uh, two more, uh, three more. To the challenges, we, we conducted a region wide survey of the challenges. So it's not just coming from uh, of, of, uh, of the heart. Slow adoption of ICT for delivering quality education including distance education uh, people many of uh, professorate are still very reluctant to embrace ict so that's a challenge for facing quality capacity deficit of quality assurance agencies if you look at uh, all the quality assurance agencies in in africa you find that many of the staff are not properly trained in quality assurance so that's a challenge if you are not properly trained in quality assurance i want to quality assure and regulate the institutions then there's a challenge there so capacity deficit of quality assurance agencies infrastructural and facilities inadequacies management inefficiencies the governance system in many of our higher education institutions is compromised and so that's a challenge now all these secondary school products that are coming into our higher education institutions are coming so poorly prepared so poorly prepared so that's a challenge facing quality of higher education in africa poor quality of entrance into higher education from the secondary level hey number seven poor reading culture among students and staff they don't want to read anything again all they want to read is just a few posts in, uh, on facebook even the staff unstable academic calendar is a major challenge to quality in many African countries, Nigeria, uh, for instance, you, you have the, uh, the, the staff going on strike and the university is shut for months. So how can you, you know, uh, show, how can you get quality uh, to be at top of uh, the agenda there? Number nine, which is uh, last but one, is academic corruption. Academic corruption is rampant. That's a major challenge. Number 10 is research capacity deficit. Uh, I'd like you to note that in the our first discussion forum we'll be asking you about these challenges so please make a note of this you can pause the video or you can download it and watch it at a little at a little day we're going to be asking you for four of these challenges and what the solutions 
a like. Ladies and gentlemen, before I close, you can see Russia. Russia said, we are the first to go to space. You remember Sputnik? The USA said, oh yes, of course. We are the first to land on the moon. Zuma said, by the way, this, this, this is a joke. We'll be the first to land on the sun. Ah, USA said, oh, the sun is too hot. You cannot land on it. Eh, but Africans laughed at them. They said, oh, we're not stupid. We'll go at night. <laughs> That's a big joke. Me, I'm not going to the sun either daytime or nighttime. You can see I've changed my cap to red. This is because going to the sun daytime or night is danger. And I'm not going to be part of it. You can see my other cap here. I had to wear this other one because there's danger. You have to go to the sun in the day or the night. Now that brings us to the end of uh, lesson number one. I'm sure you had a good time. Let's do it again in lesson number two. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.